It's been 30 years and President Trump is refusing to give an apology to the five men who were wrongly convicted in the famous Central Park jogger case. In 1989, Antron McRae, Kevin Richardson, Yusef Salam, Raymond Santana Jr., and Corey Wise, who became known as the Central Park Five, were accused and subsequently convicted of raping jogger Trisha Miley in the New York City Park. Trump, who was a real estate mogul at the time, took out full-page ads in newspapers calling for the reinstatement of the death penalty in New York and conducted TV interviews about the teens receiving the death penalty. Although the five men were ultimately exonerated in 2002 when a confession overturned their convictions, Trump is still sidestepping questions on why he has yet to publicly give the men an apology. When asked by reporters on Tuesday, Trump said it's an interesting time to bring it up, most likely referring to the media's reignited interest in the case because of Ava DuVernay's Netflix miniseries about the men, When They See Us, which showcases Trump's response to the incident all those years ago. Trump continues by saying, you have people on both sides of that. They admitted their guilt. If you look at Linda Fairstein and if you look at some of the prosecutors, they think that the city should never have settled that case. So we'll leave it at that. DuVernay responded to Trump's refusal to apologize by saying she expected it. Speaking after a Women in Entertainment and Writers Guild of America West screening of When They See Us in Hollywood, the filmmaker, according to the Los Angeles Times, said, there's nothing he says or does in relation to this case or the lives of black people or people of color that has any weight to it. It's not our reality. There's no truth to it. DuVernay has spoken previously to THR about Trump's motives for speaking about the case in the first place, calling him an opportunist. She noted that Trump got quite a bit of attention by being involved and added, I don't think it was for any real desire to seek justice for Trisha Miley, because if he did feel that way, he would have sought it for Brett Kavanaugh's accuser, Christine Blasey Ford. It was an opportunity. Joshua Jackson, who co-stars as one of the defense lawyers, had a firmer stance, noting that Trump took out those ads three days after the crime and before a verdict was decided. That's a grown man taking out full-page ads for the murder of children. Just let that sink in. He was calling for the murder of children. That's the president of the United States. For more on the story, head to THR.com. And until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.